Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Maktum. In this video, we will cover conditional statements in C program. Okay, so let's start with conditional statements. So, when we put some condition for a block of statements, the flow of execution changes based on the result of condition. This process is called decision making. Conditional statements are also called as decision making statements. Okay, say here you want to execute a particular block of statements based on a condition here. Okay, you are taking some decision based on a condition. So that is called a decision making. And these conditional statements are also called as decision making statements. Okay and also they are referred as branching statements so there are mainly three types of conditional statements in c those are if statement switch statement and conditional operator okay we will discuss one by one so let's start with if statement okay so if statement it is further divided into simple if nested if if else nested if else and lastly else if ladder it is also called as nested else if clear with that so it is very easy to remember say simple if the same thing will be nested if these two then if else nested if else then else if ladder clear with that so if there are five categories we are going to discuss them one by one. First one simple if if statement is always used with the condition the condition is evaluated first before executing any statement inside the body of if the syntax for if is you can see here so if is used always with the condition so first the condition is evaluated based on the result of condition the statements will be statements will be executed clear with that okay so the flowchart is like this condition if the condition is true then the code inside the if body will be executed if the condition is false the code after the if block will be executed okay here i have written if the condition is true then the statements inside the body of if are executed if the condition is false the statements after the if blocks are executed so agar if statement is true condition true raha to uska body execute hota nahi to next if ke next jo block of code hota wo execute hota i hope i'm clear with this so here only we are depending here what if this condition is true what to do we are doing so the next thing is if the condition is false what can we do so for that we are going to use if else if else statement we can use the else statement with if statement to execute a block of code when the condition is false okay the syntax is like this if the condition is true this block will be executed if the condition is false this block will be executed clear with that and the flowchart is like this here you can see if the condition is true true block will be executed that is if block if the condition is false then the else block will be executed clear with that okay and uh, we left one topic here that is nested if statement what is nested means writing something inside itself okay nested if means writing if statement within another if statement clear with that syntax is as follows if there will be one condition if that condition executes then there will be one more if then inside that the body will be executed when that condition becomes true okay so here if condition one so it will go inside when this condition is true okay once it comes inside it will again check for the condition 2 when it is true it will execute this part clear with that so this is nested if 
writing if writing if within another if is called as nested if clear with that okay next is nested if else so i discussed nested if that is writing if inside another if so nested if else means writing if else inside another if or else okay so when if else statement is present inside another if or else then it is called as nested if else statement i hope i am clear with that so if else ko hum if ke andar ya to else ke andar use kare to use nested if else bolte okay syntax is as follows if ke andar dekho bhi i am using if else a if ke andar use karu main this can also be used under else also okay that is nested if else the diagram you can see here it is a bit blur so here the condition there is a if statement if this is true again there is one more condition if if it is true a block of code then if it is false that is it is a else part so uh, understand this is first if this is second if condition then true block then again else block clear with that at the last they are going to come after this main if block it will come to the next statement here clear with that okay then lastly it is nested else if nested else if or it is also called as else if ladder else if ladder is useful when you need to check for multiple conditions say you want to have multiple conditions more than two conditions if you want to specify you are going to use nested else if nesting of if else can be avoided so we saw if else continuously no so that is um, inside if or else we are going to write if else so that can be avoided using else if statement syntax is like this if why if this condition is true you are going to do something else if one more condition is there you want to perform something else if so like this you can have multiple conditions if all the conditions are not satisfied by lastly else part will be executed clear with that okay you can see the flow chart here first expression if the first condition is true do this task statement 1 if it is false check for the next condition that is else if condition 2 if it is true go for this else again so there is one condition else if do this task if all the conditions are false then go for the else part that is body of else then go for the next clear with this okay so this is regarding the whole if block clear with that if statement in a conditional statements we have discussed so we are going to see the some programs based on the categories of if okay so let's start let's go to editor okay so we are in the editor now so let's start writing so for if we are going to write a simple if program hash include studio.h hash include ponyo.h void main okay i'm going to declare a number i'm going to declare a number and i'm going to initialize it to 5 okay i'm going to check i'm going to check if that number is equals to five then i will print a statement that entered number is five i'm going to print that number also okay this is a simple if program 
save it i'm going to save it as conditional dot c okay and uh, compile it there is no error run it no sorry i forgot to write this get ch okay you can see here entered number is 5 but um, that number is not printed here sorry i forgot to use format specifier also you have to write this format specifiers so you can see here so what is happening here so firstly i am declaring a variable of type integer that is number to 5 okay now i am checking here if that number is equal to 5 print this yes i hope i am clear with the simple if okay so if the number is equal to 5 i am saying enter the uh, entered number is 5 if that number is not equal to 5 what should i do for that i am going to write one more code that is using else block okay if that number is not equals to else if that means what if that condition is false your number is not 5 okay save it compile run enter number is 5 because i have declared that number to 5 no i will change that number now i will change that number to 6 now again save it compile it run your number is not 5 okay let's see what is happening there so here the number value is 6 it will come here and it will check if the number is equal to 5 what is number value it is 6 6 is it equal to 5 no the condition is what false so when the condition is false it will go to the else block and it will execute the else block code clear with that this is about if and else okay i'll write one more program okay what i will do is i'm going to read i'm going to declare a variable called as age okay and i'm going to ask the user to enter his age okay okay to read the user input we have a function called as scanf function okay, since it is an integer we are going to write percentage d and i am going to store the answer into age variable to store we are going to use this and mark okay yes so what is the i am going to, what is i am doing here is I'm going to check his age whatever he enters okay if the age is greater than or equals to 18 okay what I'm going to say is you are eligible for voting eligible for voting sorry voting okay else else you are not eligible okay with this so what i am doing here i am going to read the input from the user and i am going to check whether it is greater than or equal to 18 or if it is less so if it is greater than or equal to 18 it will execute this part else it will execute this part okay let's save it okay saved compile it then run so enter your age i will enter five you are not eligible clear okay once again i will run age i'm going to eat right now 18 you are eligible for voting so i hope i'm clear with this okay what i'm doing here i'm going to read the age and it will be checked here so here the this block of code is dependent on condition 
so and also we are making decision here so that's why these are called as decision making statements and branching statements okay so this is about if else statement then okay then i am going to read one more number so for that i am going to declare it first next i am going to tell the user to enter a number that is um, days of week in that uh, I enter a number for the day that is in between 1 to 7 okay and I'm going to store it percentage D and number okay here I'm going to check now if that number is equals to 1 if that number is equals to 1 printf the day is Sunday okay say he has entered 2 else if we are going to use I want to check for one more condition no so else if one more condition I'm going to write that is number is equals to 2 yes if that number is equals to 2 I'm going to print one more statement that is the day is Monday okay I want to check one more condition that is again else if number is equals to 3 and I will print one more statement that is the day is Tuesday what I am doing here I am checking for multiple conditions I told you that for multiple conditions we are going to use if else if or else if ladder we are going to say okay so now what I'm going to do is uh, it will be take time to write all so for that I'm going to simply copy paste now okay number equals to four Venus day number equals to five Thursday the number is six Friday and lastly number is seven Saturday here I have checked for all the conditions if say I didn't enter any of them I enter eight or ten so what will happen so for that we are going to write one more block called as else block if all the condition fails lastly the else block will be executed if none of the conditions becomes true else block will be executed I'm going to say invalid day clear with this okay so save this compile no errors good then go for running the program so enter a number okay so let me check with the one one I have entered the day is Sunday yes okay one more time I will run I will enter 5 Thursday true yes one more time I will run. I will enter 10 now what it should give the output 
should say invalid day okay good so i hope i'm clear with this yes okay here i complete with the if if statements okay and i will give you one work here here what is happening i am entering only one time i am saying 5 it is giving output when i say enter it is going back to the editor i don't want this to happen so you have learned looping also so try to do this with a loop so put some looping and the other things and do stuff you are going to provide some options there okay based on that option you are going to do this thing okay uh, wait for me to complete with switch statement when i complete the switch statement you will understand how to do it with including uh, the looping statements and the switch statement you can do the things okay okay the same program i'm going to do with switch statement i told you switch statement is an alternative for else if ladder so how okay now we are going to discuss regarding switch statement okay switch statement is a multi-way branch statement it provides an easy way to execution to different parts of code based on the value of expression so switch statement is like it is an alternative for else if ladder here also you can do multiple conditions can be checked here that is there will be one value you are going to provide based on the value it will go to the different parts of the code okay how we are going to see in the program later so remember there will be a value based on that value it will go to different parts of the code play with that duplicate case values are not allowed here we are going to write some case values so duplicate case values are not allowed then in each case we are going to write break statement okay what is break statement is break statement is used to come out of it or to terminate the thing so the break statement is used to in used inside the switch switch to terminate a statement sequence that is to terminate that case when a break statement is reached the switch terminates and the flow of control jumps to the next line following the switch statement so to execute the statements after the switch block inside the switch block we are going to use break statements in each case what happens if we didn't write that break statement if break is omitted execution will continue on it into the next case so you have given a value you wanted the output for that particular value okay say i have given one so case one will be executed if you didn't write break it will go to the next case also and it will perform that task called that task also okay, with that so we have to use break syntax you can see switch of n that n that is a value which we are passing there so based on that n if that n is 1 case 1 will be used break we are going to write if n is 2 case 2 will be executed break if any case didn't match then the default will be executed clear with that so you can see the flowchart here it is similar to if else if ladder okay switch statement if the case 1 is true statements of case 1 and break if the if case 1 is false go and check for case 2 if it is true execute the statements break then like this case n if it is true execute and break if all are false then default will be executed clear with that okay so now we are going to write a program on switch case let's go to editor okay uh, this is a program for switch statement okay number i'm going to declare first i'm going to give a message enter a number and i'm going to store it in numbers so format specifier percentage d uh, 
okay here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use switch statement switch off i'm going to pass the number okay yes now here we're going to write the case case one means what when the number is one what you have to do you have to print something what the day is sunday yes then each case block should end with break statement okay a case 2 means when he enters 2 it should print the day is monday then again break okay i will copy paste now mm -hmm. go for copy then uh, paste for six Okay, now we will change case 3, case 4, case 5, case 6, case 7. If none of the case matches, lastly we have something called as default. If none of the case matches, the default block will be executed. Default, I am going to write it as invalid okay now we will change the day monday tuesday wednesday then uh, thursday friday saturday okay is it done i'm going to name it as switch dot c okay let me check so main number I have declared, read the number from user, switch off number, case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if none of the case matches, it will go for the default, okay, yes, everything is done. So first save it, once again, compile, okay, thank God, no errors are there, okay, run it, okay, now we'll check with the 1, sorry man, <laughs> I forget always to write this get ch sorry save it compile run okay one sunday good two monday yes hey sorry sorry sorry, sorry. done i'll enter five thursday yes I'll enter 12 invalid. I hope I'm clear with this. It is working same as if else if ladder. Okay. Yes, I hope I'm clear with the use of switch, how to use it, how to write the code. And one more thing I want to tell you is I am using look here, everyone will be using here with while declaring you will be using X, Y, Z. Don't use those things. Try to use some proper naming for the variable so that you can understand the code very easily. Okay. Yes. So this is about the switch statement. So I was telling something in the last program that to do something means uh, the here when I enter a number it should display the output and again it should ask for something to enter. Okay until unless i give the different option that is 12 or 10 it should not go back to the editor so means what it is a combination here i am combining looping and the switch statement so try to do it if you didn't get it so please watch my next video where i am going to doing that thing okay so please be connected i hope you like this video and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching
operator last topic of the conditional statements so conditional operator as i have told you in the operators there are three types of operators unary binary and ternary conditional operator is a ternary operator which needs three operands you can see in this diagram here expression one so the ternary operators are this question mark and this colon okay those two are ternary operator or conditional operator so it need they need three operands you can see here the expression one is a one expression two is a second operand expression three is a third operand so ternary operators needs three operands here i am uh, what i am doing expression one will be checked okay expression one will be checked if it is true this value will be passed to the variable if this expression is false expression 3 will be passed to the variable i hope i am clear with this this is uh, something similar to if else if it is to go this else do this clear with that it is similar to if else statement i hope i am clear with this okay so this is all about conditional statements okay i hope i am clear with this okay so we have completed with looping statements and conditional statements okay so from tomorrow onwards we will start some programs basic programs we are going to discuss then after those programs we will uh, what we will do is one day we are going to discuss theory topic and next day we are going to do programming any programs we are going to do okay so uh, i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye